my gosh, Danielle, following you on Instagram. And then she asked something about Ella. She was like, oh, how is Ella? And then I was just like, that was so strange. Like, you know my child's name. And then I just said, oh, hi. They were calling me a black Karen. So because they were calling me a black Karen, she felt that she was going to get made fun of. When I'm creating content, make sure my car registration isn't being shown. Make sure my door number, any area that I'm living in, try and just keep it as restrictive as possible. As soon as I blocked them, that same day, I started to receive takeaways to my house. Not paid for. You pay for when it reaches its destination. Oh, the takeaways weren't good enough. Every single week, I get police at my door. Parents are disconnected from their children. Children are disconnected from school. Children are in their social media. Parents are in their social media. Everything's up in the air. But when I'm listening to you three, it sounds just all together. And as you can hear, single, single mom, single father. It's not all together, but they've made it together. Do you understand? One thing I've heard straight away, they all just share their lives. So I want to ask my own question. So my question is, how does your children feel? Well, obviously, you just kind of said it, but you can elaborate on it. How do your children feel not knowing that you guys are mini celebrities now. So when you go out, because I know it is already, when you get you get stopped, you know, every minute you're with your children and that happens. How do your children feel? Do they feel embarrassed? Or do they feel like, yeah, my dad's famous or my mom's famous? I'd like to say, we was in Ikea the other day and I'm with them and we're, we're going to get food and this guy comes up and he's like, yo, sorry, I had to stop you. But you see my missus over there, she makes me watch every one of your videos. And then she comes over, she waves and they ask for photos. But also because they're seen on screen they want photos of them as well so we're standing in ikea they're taking pictures people are looking thinking who are these but when we walked away from that my son was like that was amazing he was like my heart is beating fast like, but for me it was that moment where it was like like that proud feeling amongst all of us so yeah that was lovely amazing <laughs> Just no, because you know we all strive to, for, for our children to look up to us this is role models as heroes and you know what i mean i'm proud of my dad my children on holiday right now he asked to watch the live stream so i've done the live stream so son i hope you're watching because it's only you that asks for daddy to see it yeah <laughs> all right yeah but i'd say like for me i'm nowhere near your amount of followers so for me it's still quite strange and we actually had a similar situation in ikea <laughs> <laughs> Last yeah, week, go to IKEA for yourself. So, it's crazy. <laughs> I'm like just trying to get to the 10,000 on Instagram, but I'm getting like genuine like mothers come up to me on the street. I was in my own area one day and I was running to the shot I can't remember what I was doing and the lady was like oh my gosh Danielle I'm following you on Instagram and then she asked something about Ella she was like oh how is Ella and then I was just like that was so strange like you know my child's name and then I just said oh hi she goes oh welcome to the area and I was like oh hello <laughs> and Amelia so my nine-year-old oh my gosh she just she loves it and I think Maya made a comment like oh it's a good thing you put on like proper shoes or something like that like because people are going to stop you in the street and then Ikea a couple of weeks back Maya's doing this power dance everywhere we go at the moment so she's a lot on my Instagram doing power and she done it in Ikea and someone actually came up to us and said that they follow us on YouTube so dream big family on YouTube again I was like how do you feel about that Maya she's like, oh that was so good like your son like she thought it was just amazing that they recognized her so yeah. Right, so initially, when I first started doing um, TikTok, my daughter was absolutely embarrassed. And the reason why she was embarrassed is, number one, because she was obviously a lot younger to understand. And number two, they were calling me a black Karen. So because they were calling me a black Karen, she felt that she was going to get made fun of. But so over time, she's got to realise that a lot of her friends were coming up to her saying, oh my gosh, I, I can't believe that your mum, that's your mum, because I watch her on TikTok. So they're like, oh my God, can you ring your mum? Let her say hello to us and things like that. And um, because she's obviously got older now and she does a lot of TikToks with me, what has happened is they're starting to recognise her. So she goes out a lot on her own because she's 15 and she'll go to like Stratford and people are literally coming up to her and asking for pictures and things like that. So when we're out now, especially when I go to Croydon, I can't go to Croydon, walk from the top, the end of Croydon with people coming up to me saying, Saying, oh my god you're that woman off of tiktok they all say the same thing for some reason they've got the same line you're that woman off of tiktok oh my god can i have a picture so one of the things i always make sure i do is when my daughter started off obviously i wasn't famous and obviously she weren't big or whatever you want to call it they always wanted pictures of other influencers and they were always really shy to ask and they weren't sure whether they could get one and they would be scared to ask but i always say to them do you want a picture and they'll say yeah and the reason why i say that is because I always remember my daughter not being sure whether she could ask or being embarrassed. So I felt if I say it to them, then they don't have to ask. And they always say, yeah. So I always make sure no matter what, I'll always go, come on, let's have
have a picture together? No. Um, I, I got a little famous one. My, my 10 year old phoned me the other day. He said, Dad, I was on my way to school and I got on the bus and the bus driver was wearing Moolah kit. I'm like, Yeah, son, you know our things everywhere. You get me? <laughs> Two right. questions. Any questions from the, um, from the audience? One right there, please. Sorry, just wanted to ask, on, Adam, are you using threads? I joined Fred's and I got so confused. That's all I got to say. <laughs> okay. um, I've given it a try. I'm not very good on Twitter either. So it's, for me, it was just like another version of Twitter. So I'm not very consistent on that, to be honest. Me personally, I'm not. I feel like I've figured out what works best for me. And that in itself can just be enough. I think sometimes we're, we've got our hands in every pocket rather than just saying, you know what, this is what I'm good at. I'm going to double down on this and make something of this. So that's what's worked best for me. It's a very, very good point, you know. Very, very good point. Yeah? Because I run 26 social medias, but I'm very good at it and I really love it. But when I say it to someone else, they say, no, I can't run that many. No, no, no. Find what works for you and go hard on that one. Like he said, he doubled down on it. He's got 175 hands on foot. Excellent. Yes, thank you. Um, I loved what you, you all shared. I want to just um, ask about like security for your children. How do you feel about that? Because I always feel like even showing what borough or my bin, I'm like, someone's going to find me. <laughs> How do you manage that? Right, my security story, gosh, you're not going to be ready for this one. A couple of years ago, my name got leaked because it was picked up from my Instagram that I linked my Facebook to. And some trolls managed to find my name, Google my name, and at the time, my business was registered in my address by mistake. These trolls waited two years, and what's happened recently is, first of all, they started sending takeaways to my house. So what happened is I blocked one of the trolls, so I know it's got something to do with these trolls. As soon as I blocked them, that same day, I started to receive takeaways to my house. Not paid for, you pay for when it reaches its destination. Oh, the takeaways weren't good enough. Every single week, I get police at my door. Somebody's been held hostage in the house. We're going to kick your door down if you don't answer it. There's nothing they can do about it. So basically, I've got this problem now where every week, the police are turning up to my house to kick off my door. If you do not secure your name out there on social media, security can be a massive problem. And that means people People now have my address. First of all, I don't use my proper name. I think they have put it today. I did mention it, but it was too late. So I don't let anybody know my real name unless people that I know. And I don't link any of my personal... For example, my Facebook has got all my personal stuff on and I took it off of my Instagram and I only link my Queen Ring the First to my Instagram. That's it. Anything else that has got your name on, do not link it. Because once they get a name, they can get an address. Once they get an address, they won't really do it. They only pick certain people to do it with. And I think with me, they just like to torment me. They know who to do it to as well. I think what you got to be mindful of full stop is even if you keep your names off of social media, someone's going to know you. And if that person doesn't like you, even worse, that will just get round. Me personally, I'm known as Raisin. Terrible name when I think about it but i'm known by so many people anyway that my name aaron just gets out so i'm not worried about people knowing my name because i can't control that and it's just going to be a headache what i'm mindful of is when i'm creating content make sure my car registration isn't being shown make sure my door number any area that i'm living in try and just keep it as restrictive as possible on the content that i'm putting out yeah similar to Aaron, all our names are on social. Like I said, I was walking up the road in my own area and someone was like, Danielle, follow me on Instagram. So they automatically like know kind of where we live and they know my children's names on YouTube. But also I think it's like the content that you put out as well. So my content is very much empowerment. So I'll share my children doing their affirmations, their gratitude. So my audience is mainly mums. It's mainly like women who want to be empowered. It's mainly women who are struggling. It's a different type of audience anyway. So I'm not going to get like takeaways sent to my house I'm going to get people like more coming up to me in the street and asking for advice or saying I've had people ask Jakaya my three-year-old to tell them affirmations anywhere we go they always they always choose him as well he's the only boy and they're always like Jakaya give me affirmations Danielle's done it as well and he loves it but that's the sort of attention that we get but again I don't show like my house um, number, car reg, anywhere that we're near. I try to not put like the street in the vlogs and stuff like that as well and always post after. So even when we went to Barbados, I shared the hotel that we stayed at and I done all the content after we left Barbados. Can I just say one thing quickly, just off the back of that? I think the energy you put out is so important because one of the things I've always said, I didn't want to be known as like a prank page. I would never want to be popular for that because that energy is going to come back to me. So just be mindful to the young people in the room I know it's great to go viral but what are you going viral for because that same energy will probably come back to you 
Greetings. Did some people show up to give you free food because they liked your YouTube channel? It, it wasn't free. I had to pay for it at the end. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Um, it's Vinny, uh, she's part of the team, and she's asking, do you allow your children to help with the video editing? I do, and also for the content creating, so they'll have ideas. They had the ice idea about the ice cream van, they really want to go into an ice cream van and do it, so they'll come up with all of these say yes days for mummy, so I've done a say yes day, and they watch YouTube as well. I don't watch like TV and YouTube, so that's another thing, like we don't watch TV in our house, but we're on YouTube. So they've got like their channels that they might have ideas from and say, oh mummy, today can we go and film this sort of content? content and when I'm editing I always show it back to them as well they see me like on my phone doing everything so they're very much involved yeah so if I, they have a question on my TikTok the one where I do the branding stuff they'll say like maybe where does she get her top from or something I give her the camera let her do what she does and then she does it all and I just look at it and if I think she has to redo it I then sort of tell her what to redo and it tends to go quite viral because they want to see her they like the fact that she's responding she's got her own account where she does her own yeah for me um, when we sit down and have conversations I I ask him beforehand, think about stuff that you want to ask and think about stuff that you as a young person is going through because I can't tap into that. Listen, listen, listen. I just want to end on this note for you because yeah, we, obviously we've got to move on. You see what you lot just said about that last part about having your children being involved. As adults, we don't have the time, we would say, to watch these YouTube stuff. We don't know the latest trends and stuff. That's the reason why you need to connect with your child. Your child will tell you what the latest trends are. Your child doesn't know how to do editing. You're going to help your child do the editing. Let's think about the overall concept what we're creating here. Bonding experiences with your children. Children. Let's stop the disconnections. Let's try and get closer with our children. Yeah? What Dexter's saying is is really true because I'm an obviously a lot of an older mother because obviously you can say I've got grandchildren. My daughter knows what people want to see now yeah. and what they don't. I don't. So that's why I often ask her. It's not about what we know. We think we know best. We don't know. So if you let your child decide or your child edit or your child tell you what to do, then it will more likely go viral or people will be interested. So it's true what Dexter's saying. Yeah, can I just share something that I think might help a lot of young people? Everyone Everyone looked at the platform and was like, oh, you've got over 100,000 followers. You must be making money. You must have loads of brands coming to you. And I was like, no, it's not really working like that. And then I started thinking, how can I get brands to come to me? Like, what can I do? Rather than just waiting for, oh, you know what? I'll reach a magic number and then my life will change. So I thought, let me go into Next, the clothing store Next. So I went into Next and I said to my son, just trust me on this. So I recorded some content, got him to try on clothes that he did not like wearing. Put a video together. Ever. the video done really well guess who came knocking next Go. you know what can we sign you up for a free deal agreement for our tiktok just off the back of me saying i'm gonna do something rather than waiting for people to come to me i got crazy goosebumps i got crazy goosebumps just because this is what the whole event is about but i can't get it out my mouth all the time in every little part but the whole event is about creating your own opportunities seeing things that are not there i mean i'm a master at that hour you know like i proper know how to put something in the air to let them see it and then i know they're gonna come knocking i'll give you an example right now i've got chanel blue in my pocket I'm going to start wearing this for the next two months until Chanel Blue sponsor me. Because that's how it works. This is what I'm trying to say. So I hope you're seeing it. I've got it on the stage. Yeah? Yeah? We love the talk. We love the energy, the rest. Just please try and implement it in your own lives with your own children today, which I'm going to tell you right now. We've got VR headsets. We have got dance machines. There's workshops during the days. There's more amazing panels. There's computer game competitions. There's so much great people in the building. Please walk around everywhere. Look at the schedule. Speak to one another. Take each other's contacts because... This could be the moment that you and your child's life change, or not just your child, just your life could change. Take advantage. Thank you very much for listening to that panel.